Hi, my name is Emily Neville. I'm one of the members of the Community Church of Ocean Pines Prayer Ministry. One of the things I like to do is to read stories, and recently I have found a wonderful site called Heaven's Inspirations. And I'd like to share a devotion with you today that's called, it has a funny name, Carrots, Eggs, and Coffee. A young woman went to her mother and told her about her life and how things were so hard for her. She didn't know how she was going to make it and wanted to give up. She was tired of fighting and struggling. Her mother took her into the kitchen. She filled three pots with water. In the first pot, she put some carrots. In the second pot, she put some eggs. And in the last pot, she placed ground coffee beans. She let them sit and boil for, without saying a word for about 20 minutes. Then she turned off the burners. She fished the carrots out and placed them in a bowl. Then she pulled the eggs out and placed them in a bowl. And finally, she ladled the coffee out and placed it in a bowl. Turning to her daughter, she then asked, Tell me, what do you see? Carrots, eggs, and coffee, the daughter replied. She brought her closer and asked her to feel the carrots. She did, and she noted that they were soft and mushy. She then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed the hardened egg. Finally, she asked her to sip the coffee. The daughter smiled when she tasted the deep flavor and inhaled its rich aroma. The daughter then asked, what is the point of all this, mother? The mother explained that each of these objects had been faced the same adversity, boiling water, but each had reacted differently. The carrot went in strong, hard, and unrelenting. However, after being subjected to the boiling water, it became weak. The egg had been fragile. Its thin outer shell had protected its liquid interior, but after sitting in the boiling water, the inside became hardened. The ground coffee beans were unique, however. After they were in the boiling water, they had changed the water. Which are you, daughter? she asked. When adversity knocks at your door, how do you respond? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? Think of this. Which am I? Am I the carrot that seems strong, but with pain and adversity do I wilt and lose my strength? Or am I the egg that starts with a malleable heart but changes with the heat? Did I have a fluid spirit, but after a death or a breakup or a financial hardship or some other trial, have I become hardened and stiff? Does my shell look the same on the outside, but on the inside I'm bitter and tough with a tough spirit and a hardened heart? Or am I like the coffee bean? The bean actually changed the hot water the very circumstance that brought the adversity, the pain, the hardship, into something quite wonderful. When the water gets hot, it releases fragrance and flavor. If you're like the coffee bean, when things are at their worst, you get better and change the situation around you for the better. When the hours are the darkest and the trials are their greatest, do you elevate to another level? How do you handle adversity? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? Somehow, the expression, wake up and smell the coffee, takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for always being with us, whether it's adversity or good times. We know you can always help us through whatever we need to get through. We know you, we have your love and your strength and your comfort and your compassion. We love you. Help us to be the coffee bean. Amen.